Hey, what's going on, guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. Man, I'm excited because we have one. God of War is releasing tonight at midnight. Yep, today is January the 13th. And at midnight, God of War for PC. And I know it's a four-year-old game. It came out in 2018. But let me tell you something. That game looks better than 75% of all the new games that's just come out within the past year or so. And yeah, we just came out with the you know, Xbox Series X and S and the PS5. You know, that's, we're going on a little bit over a year on that stuff now. But let me tell you, they made a lot of changes to God of War for PC. They add a bunch of stuff in. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be in another video. Um, so to prepare for that video um, and for some other things that we're going to be doing on the channel. So I have here the Elgato HD 60S Plus. Yes, this is an external capture card. And you probably wonder why I got this because I also have an internal capture card. But the thing about the internal capture card, you need another PC, uh, another desktop PC in order to be able to use that because I am going to be streaming from my, uh, not, well, I am going to be streaming, but I'm also going to be recording from my desktop, doing some benchmarks and all that good stuff. And I can't use my internal capture card uh, for that because the only other PC that I have right now, um, that's you know usable in that factor is my laptop and so i had to get an external capture card and so yeah we're gonna have some fun we're gonna unbox this today this is my first external capture card so we're gonna unbox this and get it set up and yeah but before we do that if this is your first time here welcome here we do everything tech all things tech and whatever it is we like to do it and if you're a returning viewer i appreciate you the most so if you want to see more content like this make sure that you hit like hit subscribe and hit the bell so you receive my notifications and also we got merch we got merch coming as you can see we got the sweatshirt on deck i'm working out some stuff behind the scenes to see what's the best way to be able to offer this to you all to be able to help the channel so just stay tuned for that it's going to be coming pretty soon uh so yeah let's get to it knife on deck and you know i like to do things meticulously when it comes to my boxes because i like to keep them um and put them on display and you know i get people to come over to my house not too many people, but I get friends and family and then they come out there like, man, what's all that stuff? And it's like, yeah, it's uh, it's stuff. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I like to keep my stuff. So just in case, you know, if I ever want to upgrade and sell some stuff, it's always good to have retail packaging. Right. And so I like to make sure my boxes stay intact. And I use a bunch of different Elgato um Tech. So we have the I got our key light. We got the wave three. Is this the wave three? Yeah, I think we got the wave three mic. Um, you, you already know about my internal capture card, the 4K60 Pro Mark II, uh, which is amazing. Um, we got Stream Deck, and so now. We're adding this one to the family into the mix. So Elgato, if you want to sponsor your boy, uh, hit me up, Twitter, at Will Creators. So as we can see what we have here in the box, um, this is pretty dope. So uh, this is the actual capture card here. You can see that here. So we have an, an N, uh, HDMI, then we have the USB-C, and then on the other side, we have an HDMI out. Um, we have two cables, uh, one cable here. This is a USB-C to USB-A. Um, and this actually gets plugged into a USB 3.0 connector on your computer, laptop, desktop, whatever you're using. And then we have the HDMI cord uh, that comes with it as well. We have a couple of stickers and some instructions, which we just don't need. And then that's it. That's what we have in the box. And so the idea here is, is that HDMI cable is going to go to the end. Um, the other end is going to go into the PC um, and then, well, to my gaming computer. And then we're going to have um, the actual USB. -C. Then we have the USB C cable that's going to plug in here, uh, which is going to go into my laptop um, that we'll be using for streaming and recording. And so that's the plan. Um, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this connected. And then um, I also I also show you some basically some video about how to connect these. But it's pretty simple. Um, this cable looks to be pretty long, which is great. Um, and 
I'm thinking that the HDMI cable doesn't look like it's the same length because that looks like it's pretty long for the USB-C. Um, but the HDMI cable is probably not going to be long enough for what I need, but I have an extra cable, so uh, we'll just keep that in mind, but we'll probably put that back in the box. Um, but let's go ahead and get these connected and get it set up. Okay, so I'm going to be using my own HDMI cord um, because it's longer. Um, this is the back of my PC. And yeah, I got a bunch of stuff back here. Uh, but what I am going to do, I'm going to route this up under here. And now I'm going to plug this into one of my HDMI ports on my graphics card. Most graphics cards maybe will have one HDMI. Um, some could have more of mine. Uh, my RTX 3080 Ti has two 2.1 HDMI ports and three display ports. And so it can handle up to four monitors at once. And as you can see, I got three hooked up and this other HDMI to the actual capture card is going to count as another monitor. So, okay, so here's the other end to the HDMI cord. So what we're going to do is we actually are going to plug that into where it says in here on the capture card. And then we're going to take the USB-C cable is going to plug it in here onto this part right here and then boom that's all you have to plug in now we're going to take the other end of the usb cord and we're going to plug it into the usb 3.0 port on my laptop boom and now we have those connected so what i'm going to do now is actually go back to my actual gaming PC, and uh, we're gonna make sure that we get everything set up in the actual control panel there. Okay, so now that we're back on the gaming PC, I have the NVIDIA control panel up. Um, so we're using this, now it's showing four displays, right? Um, so the fourth display, number four, is the HD60+, Plus, as you can see here. Um, my main monitor, which is my 4K LG, uh, monitor what we're going to do is we're going to click on this we're going to right click and we're going to clone with four and clone with four is just going to allow us to be able to duplicate um, the actual displays so the great thing about the hd60 plus is that it can pass through 4k 60 and but it's going to capture on my laptop at 1080p 60 um all the way up to hdr so uh, which is pretty dope. So, I, and I think I could be able to pass through 1080p 120. I don't game at 1080p, um, but, you know, from content, video purposes, and stuff like that, uh, capturing that 1080p 60 is completely fine. Um, so the main thing is that when I'm doing benchmarks is that um, now I could be able to get the right, numbers when it comes to the benchmarks, the actual gameplay and all the type of stuff um, that we're going to be doing. So uh, I am going to hit apply. Let's go over to the actual uh, capture or recording that's happening on the laptop so you can be able to see what's going on. And so I'm going to switch over to that real quick. So as you can see, here's my laptop and it's actually capturing. Now, the reason why I have um, this TV hooked up to my laptop is if you can see that, you know, my screen on my laptop is kind of messed up. Uh, blame it on my kids. Um, but until I can actually get another panel, get that fixed, um, I got everything connected. And so, but if I go back over here, this is my gaming computer uh, that's showing up as we were just on. So this is the 4K capture utility. Um, you know, I can use this for recording. It says source 2160 capture 1080p 60. Um, and I actually have that recording to my uh, external enclosure. Um, I have a Samsung 970 Evo in here. Um, but what I want to do is I actually want to pull up OBS. So if I go here to OBS, and I'm recording this, 
without doing a screen recording, just so you can kind of see how simple this is. So if I go to OBS, what I need to do is actually, I just need to click on, if you already don't have, let's say if you was doing a new scene, you would go down here to the plus button and you would hit video capture device. I already have one here. I'm just gonna double click on this. And all I am going to do is actually change this. And as you can see here, it says game capture HD 60 S plus. So I'm gonna click on that. And once I click that, um, I had some other pre-configured stuff that was in here. Uh, this is on the device default, um, but I usually change the color space to 709, color range to partial. Um, this should pulling in the capture and it's not popping up. Uh, device default. Let me change something here. Let's go back. There we go. All right. Sometimes you got to play around with it, but here we go. Now we have this inside OBS and I could be able to, um, record, stream, do whatever it is that I need to do. And so for God of War, uh, obviously I am going to go in the settings and make it, you know, whatever changes I need to make here as far as recording. I can make all that here. Um, the video is going to capture in 1080p. I need to change this to 60 frames per second. Um, and then boom. So let me start up a game over here just so you can see what it looks like here. All right, so we got bright, infinite memory here. And as you can see, the audio is already going over to my laptop. <laughs> so we'll take a look at some of those settings. But just to show you that I'm not lying, as you can see here, this is my gaming PC, right? And that's bright, infinite memory. I got everything. I'm doing a bunch of recording, right? Then if we go over here to my laptop, it's, it's capturing using the HD 60 plus. And so, yeah, that's pretty dope. And so one of the things that we could do here is we can actually go down here to, you see where it says video capture device. That's the audio coming from my gaming PC. And I believe something that we had to do within here, um, if I scroll down, uh, audio device, it's on digital audio interface, game capture HD. Um, and so, yeah, automatically coming through. Um, and if I wanted to, um, you know, if I wanted to stream or record, um, sometimes with streaming, there's a lag. I would actually just plug in my USB mic to my laptop and have my audio come through there. Um, if I wanted to put myself on camera, I will also hook up my actual camera. Uh, to my laptop as well um, because that's where everything would be kind of synced up so uh, just food for thought you know if you was getting it set up you know I'd definitely do another video just to kind of show how everything is up and running but I think I'm good for being able to record my God of War uh, PC gameplay which is the main thing and so going back here uh, yeah uh, you know this is this is a dope game if you never played um, Bright Memory Infinite before, man, um, it's amazing. I play this 4K, uh, everything maxed out, and it's phenomenal. Uh, so uh, definitely, I got a video on this. I'll put it in the link in the description below. You can definitely be able to check it out. Uh, but yeah, I am about to download uh, God of War, and, uh, and yeah, i see you in the next video, and the next video will be God of War. So if you got questions, comments, or anything that you would like to talk about, um, definitely hit me down in the comment section below. Um, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.